Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite pumpkin bread. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today's recipe might have actually saved my marriage. I'm being a little bit dramatic, but Zach's biggest complaint on the blog is that I do not share enough pumpkin recipes. I'll be honest, I don't really like pumpkin and I don't really love pumpkin spice. So even though he's constantly nagging me, I do not like to make pumpkin recipes. In order to keep the peace in my marriage, I have a few pumpkin recipes coming your way this year, all carefully and thoroughly taste tested by my husband, who is sitting behind the camera right now, so I probably should be a little bit nicer about him. Now, to get started, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large mixing bowl, we are going to combine two cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and of course, I'm using my homemade pumpkin pie spice, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and just a half teaspoon of salt. We'll stir everything together until the ingredients are nicely combined. One of the things I love about this recipe is that it's so easy to make by hand, there is no stand mixer required. In a separate bowl, we're going to whisk together one and a half cups of pumpkin puree. And make sure your can says that it's 100% pumpkin and that you're not using a pumpkin pie mix. We'll add one fourth cup of canola or vegetable oil and one fourth cup of melted unsalted butter. Whisk these together so they're nicely combined. Next, we'll add 2 thirds cup of firmly packed dark brown sugar, a half cup of granulated sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, two large eggs, and ideally these should be at room temperature, and 1 fourth cup of buttermilk. Now we'll stir everything together until it's well combined. Now this recipe took me about eight tries to get it just perfect by Zach's standards. And I kind of think he just kept telling me to keep going just because he liked having pumpkin bread in the house. It takes a lot of love for me to make a pumpkin recipe that many times. Now we'll pour this pumpkin mixture into our dry ingredients. And you'll want to stir everything together until the ingredients are just combined. Don't overdo it or your pumpkin bread will be dense and dry. Now we'll transfer this into a lightly greased bread pan. Now this pumpkin bread can either be topped off with some sugar before you bake it, or once it's baked and cooled, you can decorate it with a simple vanilla glaze. Today I'm just going to be adding some coarse granulated sugar, but if you prefer to use a glaze, I will include an easy recipe for that in the printable recipe below. We'll take this over to our 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven where it's going to need to bake for about 60 minutes or until a wooden skewer inserted in the center comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs. Let the bread cool in the baking pan for about 15 minutes and then run a knife along the edges just to loosen it in case it's stuck any. Careful, it's still a little bit warm and carefully invert it onto a cooling rack so it can cool completely. Once your bread has cooled completely, you can go ahead and dig in. And that is how you make my husband's favorite pumpkin bread, which is now my favorite pumpkin bread because it means he's not going to be bugging me about pumpkin recipes for at least a couple more days. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you try this one out, I would love to hear how you like it. I'll see you next time. Save this one for the pumpkin lover in the house.